Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, today was our first taste of true summer-like weather. We had the heat, a little humidity, but nothing impressive. Really a nice summer-like day here in the middle part of May. Another one for tomorrow, and then that humidity, which came back for the first time today, does begin to fall off for the end of the week. We started at 63, 89 the high, broke the record by one degree, set back in 2018, and then again way back in 1936. We got a shot at the record tomorrow, which is also 88, and also set back in 2018. I think we have a decent chance at at least uh, tying it. But highs today were generally in the upper 80s, no 90s recorded. We have an outside shot at that tomorrow, depending on the timing of a cold front that's going to be coming in from the east, unusual direction. Live first warning Doppler is dry right now. May see a few spotty showers arriving towards daybreak tomorrow morning. But let's talk about the heat. This is the warmest week of the year, and that continues. We have that shot at another record high tomorrow. But today was the first humid day of the year. Do points above 65 for at least three hours in the afternoon and that's a little later than normal on average we experience our first muggy day on the 5th of May last year it occurred on the 28th of April but we just missed 90 degrees and normally we don't hit 90 until the 31st of May on average last year we hit it on the 25th of May and we have an outside shot tomorrow and if we don't hit 90 I think it's off the uh, out of the realms of possibility until sometime maybe later next week but even then that's trending a little bit uh, cooler. Our Superior Ag Tower Camera downtown Evansville on a really nice summer-like evening. It's 77, a little muggy with that dew point of 68, a south wind at 5. We're in the mid to upper 70s. We're going to wind up in the uh, upper 60s to around 70 by daybreak tomorrow morning. We have severe weather out in West Texas kind of winding down this evening. We had more storms up in the Western Great Lakes. Those have weakened. And a big low pressure system off the East Coast has been battering uh, the outer banks of North Carolina. I'm going to show you some video from that in just a moment. But that's a low that's moving to the west and will actually dry cooler air back into our area from the east, opposite direction than what we're accustomed to. And I'll show you how that's going to play out here with Future Tracker. Towards daybreak tomorrow morning, ridge of high pressure weakens enough to allow a few spotty showers to develop for the morning commute. They'll fade away, and then that weak front comes in from the east. Highs will probably be at least mid to upper 80s, forecasting 88 for Evansville. That would tie the record, but depending on the timing of the front, we see it come in with maybe a few more showers developing in the afternoon. It will be humid for one one more day, but then that front continues westward tomorrow night. Temperatures cool down a bit, and the humidity really falls off on Thursday, which will be a mostly sunny day, just a little cooler, mid-80s, but with that lower humidity, it's going to be very nice, and it will feel even nicer on Friday with more sunshine, maybe a spotty shower trying to come in the east from the east with that moisture, uh, but high temperatures again in the mid 80s, above normal, but not as warm as it was today or will be tomorrow. So spotty showers possible towards daybreak, otherwise partly cloudy and warm upper 60s to around 70. A mix of sun and clouds tomorrow, a few showers moving through, very warm and humid, mid to upper 80s. And then on the seven day forecast, the heat comes down a little bit, the humidity drops a lot for Thursday and Friday, mid 80s. Scattered thunder showers developing on Saturday, but they'll be scattered, not a washout. Looks like the best chance of rain over the weekend will be late Saturday into Saturday night. A few more showers and thunder showers do develop on Sunday, and then that front gets a little more energetic Monday night into Tuesday of next week. Two beach houses on North Carolina's coast have fallen into the ocean. Video captured the moment this house on the Outer Banks collapsed earlier today. It happened just hours after another house nearby collapsed. In February, another house in the same area also fell into the water. Now, the main culprit is erosion from storm surges caused by the overwash, which hits from both sides on Cape Hatteras Island. So the storm itself is not all that unusually strong, but a lot of erosion already, and they're having some issues there on the Outer Banks. But no issues back here, just some nice summer-like weather here in May. Yeah, we'll yeah, take yes. that for sure. Yeah. Thanks a lot, yeah. Mike.